Can the flu shot give you the flu? Does it weaken your immune system? Should you not get the flu shot? These are questions me and every other doctor has heard a million times. So in this video, I'm gonna answer all of your questions and talk about the five main things you need to know about the flu shot. Number one, why every year? You know, it's like a birthday, but not fun. It's basically because this virus is constantly changing, okay? It kind of wants to pull a fast one on our immune system, and if it's successful, it basically flies under the radar and causes the flu. That's why there's a new vaccine every year, because the virus is changing every year. Number two, does it work? Yes, it works actually. It decreases the risk of getting the flu by 40 to 60% on average. Basically how it works is in our immune system, we have a special type of cell that's basically like your own personal bodyguard. And this bodyguard remembers every face or virus that it sees. This is why you only get things like chicken pox one time because your body recognizes it it knows the procedure, and it's able to protect you. Number three, should you or should you not get the flu shot? Let's get real for a second, okay? If you're someone like me, someone young, someone healthy, and let's say we don't get vaccinated, but we do get sick with the flu, we are going to be fine. We are not going to die. I mean, it's possible, okay, it's possible, but chances are very slim. If your immune system is normal, it will be more than capable of fighting the infection. It's people who have health conditions, you know, people who might be pregnant, people who have asthma or have diabetes or lung conditions, or like people over the age of 65, or even younger people who work in the healthcare industry that really need this vaccine. Like if we only had a limited supply, it would go to these people, hands down. But in most instances when there is supply, you're better off getting the vaccine, no matter how young and healthy you are or where you work. Number four, what are the different types of flu vaccines? The most common one is the intramuscular injection. This is the one that you see all the time. You know, they get the needle and they put it in your arm. And then the other one is flu mist, which is a nasal inhaler. Now, if you're anything like me and you hate needles, I'm sure you'd want to get the nasal inhaler, right? Well, this one could actually give you the flu, or a mild version of it at least. That is the main difference between these two vaccines. The first one, intramuscular, is a killed virus. It's not alive at all. And with the flu mist, the virus is actually alive. It's weakened, that's why they call it attenuated, but it's alive nonetheless. So to clarify, the intramuscular injection vaccine cannot and will not give you the flu because what did we learn? Right, because it's a killed vaccine. And if you guys were wondering if I get my flu shot, that's probably my favorite thing about being a doctor is that, you know, I don't even have to leave my house. It's just easy as one, two, three. I'm just kidding, guys. <laughs> I do get my flu shot, though. Guys, this is not even a real intramuscular syringe, and this is just water. Hit the like button for that effort, though. Number five, do you have the flu or is it just a cold? Okay, you guys, if you have the flu, you are going to know it. It is like being hit by a bus. It is sudden, it is severe, and you are wishing you did something differently in your life. You're probably gonna have fever and severe muscle body aches, headache, dry cough, and just a feeling of overall weakness. And the funny thing is, it's not the virus that's causing these symptoms. It's your body that's fighting the virus that's causing it. Something serious I'd like to add, if your cough turns from dry to mucus type of productive cough, that is probably a sign that your immune system's not doing as well as I would hope. And it's what we would call a superimposed infection. And it could even progress to pneumonia if not treated quickly. Treatment for the flu is actually nothing specific. 
What you'd have to take is analgesics, which is basically, you know, your ibuprofen, your Advil, things like that that help with pain and help with fever. And it is so important to hydrate, all right? You're, you're talking water, Gatorade, Powerade, if that's something you're into. Gatorade's better. Or even coconut water because that has a lot of electrolytes and that's what you're losing when you have the flu. That's what you need to gain back. So that's it, guys. If I did not answer your question, please post in the comments below and I will get back to you on that, I promise. If you've watched this far in the video, you are awesome. I see you, I appreciate you. And if you've not already, bring your awareness to the subscribe button. Apply light pressure to it, and I'll see you in the next video.